And thank you. Uh, now to another top story here at 7 o'clock. Open Door agreeing to pay a $62 million penalty to settle allegations of misleading potential home sellers. Yeah, the Federal Trade Commission says the Tempe-based online real estate business tricked sellers into thinking that they could make more selling their homes to Open Door rather than a traditional buyer. On your side, Susan here is to break it all down. That's a big number. Yeah. It's a very big number and sellers will get some of that money out of the deal. So Open Door telling us in a statement they strongly disagree with the FTC's allegations. Still, the company says it's settling to move on. Open Door promises a quick, easy sale. No showings, no lengthy negotiations. <laughs> sellers would get a breakdown like this and it almost always showed they'd make more money selling to Open Door. But if you sold your home to the iBuyer, you may have left money on the table. The Federal Trade Commission says the vast majority of consumers who sold to Open Door lost thousands compared to what they would have realized in net proceeds from selling on the open market because Open Door's offers have been below market value on average and its costs have been significantly higher than what consumers typically pay. And the company knew it. The FTC says the iBuyer's own internal analyses showed that consumers lost money selling to Open Door. Now the FTC and Open Door have reached a $62 million settlement to resolve a slew of allegations about misleading potential sellers, requiring costly repairs that sellers wouldn't have had to make in a traditional sale, and undervaluing homes. Do you get a letter that promises the world, and that sounds exciting. The, the problem that sellers run into is they don't know compared to what. If they're willing to pay that, they feel confidently they can get more money for it because they need to turn around and sell it. Kelly Henderson is a Valley real estate agent. She says the red hot Arizona housing market has helped fuel the fast paced iBuyer industry. If you choose to forego money in exchange for convenience, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's frankly probably plenty of sellers who feel like they got exactly what they wanted. But the issue here was the way it was approached and how many people probably lost out on a lot of money. Open Door didn't want to do an interview with us, but they sent us a statement defending their company's model and saying importantly, the allegations raised by the FTC are related to activity that occurred between 2017 and 2019 and target marketing messages the company modified years ago. We are pleased to put this matter behind us and look forward to continuing to provide consumers with a modern real estate experience. The Federal Trade Commission says it still hasn't determined how that $62 million will be distributed. The FTC also wouldn't say if they are investigating any other iBuyers.